Hey everybody, it's Alisa, and I'm back for part two of podcasting on the fly with SoundCloud. Where I left off last time, I basically just showed you how to record on your mobile device and then how to embed that audio to a place like Canvas. But now I'm going to talk about how it becomes a podcast. Now, first off, when I did it, and the reason why I didn't go further last time is that I didn't have this handy little icon here, which is my RSS feed for my SoundCloud account. But as it turns out, you have to apply for a podcasting license, I guess. <laughs> I just made that part up, license. But you do have to apply to turn your SoundCloud account into a podcasting account. And then what happens is you get your feed for both iTunes and an RSS feed that you can use in a, in a Google Reader, so forth. So now that I have that, I can go back and show you in Canvas how you can add that to your Canvas announcements. So here I am in announcements in a class that hasn't been released yet. This is for a future class. I didn't want to mess, mess up my current class. So anyway, over here where it says external feeds, you can add an external feed. And basically what you do is you paste in the, the RSS feed here, and then you decide what uh, content you want. So I choose full article, and then you can also uh, limit which feeds come in. So in this case, I'm using my SoundCloud account for two classes, and I set up this one to bring in that feed, but only with the keyword ENH295. So it will then bring in my podcast from that feed only or, or from those that are listed as ENH 295. So this is what it looked like before when we embedded it. So you can see here that students can just click the play button and I, I showed you how to add this. But now that we have the feed set up, what will happen is it'll, it'll automatically bring it in. Let me show you what it looks like if you just use it in a feed reader. So here I'm in my feed reader. So let me show you quickly. I'm going to click subscribe. I'm going to go back and get my feed here. Copy that. Go back over to feed reader. Add it in. Click add. And now I have my feed. So you don't get that fancy player, but you do get a player that plays. So these are the feeds that come from the SoundCloud. These are the last two that showed up. One was for English 102 and the other is for English 95. Now the other way you can make this a podcast is go to a class where you have been feeding in your announcements and basically Canvas, if you're in Canvas, has an RSS feed for your announcements. So after you feed in your external feeds, now this is a live class so I didn't in I didn't mess with this one, but let's say I did the same thing here that I did in this class by adding these feeds, and then the podcast show up. So then I take this RSS feed, right, and then I could subscribe to that, and that's what this one is. So when I click over here, all right, so this is the Fall English 102 announcement feed. So these are the feeds. Now the key thing that we notice about the key feeds is that the podcast from SoundCloud don't show through, which is interesting. But videos, so if I were to add a video to an announcement. So here's an example of where I have embedded a video from YouTube, and it comes through in the feed. But for some reason, the SoundCloud doesn't come through when you bring in the announcement RSS feed from Canvas. So I'm thinking the best way to do it is to bring in the feed from SoundCloud instead of using the feed from Canvas. And that way students can actually be able to see the player and to be able to play podcast. So here is an example of iTunes. So I brought in the feed from SoundCloud. So I went up into advanced and then I said subscribe to podcast. I added in the feed there and then it went out and grabbed the last two podcasts from SoundCloud. I tried to bring in the feed from the Canvas class, but it's probably not an iTunes type feed because it didn't bring in anything. It recognized it, but it didn't bring in any of the posts from there. So this is only going to work with SoundCloud because it has the iTunes tags and so forth attached to it. So that's basically how you're going to turn your SoundCloud audio into a podcast. You bring in the external feed from SoundCloud, and then the post will show up here. You can also use something like a blog. Here I have um, a Tumblr blog, 
And basically what happens is I can post any type of content to my Tumblr bot, blog, video, audio, text, and so forth. And then I go back into my announcements and I can add that announcement or that feed for that blog. And then it will bring in the content as well. Okay. So in this example here, this one came in from the Tumblr blog and it had a video attached to it and it brought in the video as well as uh, any text that was attached to it. So there's text and then there's the video from the Tumblr blog. So a couple of different things going on. Nothing is exactly perfect yet. I need to figure out lots of different uh, things to, to work around. But for the most part, I'm happy with the idea that I can post something on my mobile device and then have it automatically show up in announcements here in Canvas. And then in the same respect, students can subscribe to either their announcements in Canvas or I can teach them to subscribe to the feed in SoundCloud to be able to um, get automatic updates on the podcast that I'm producing for them on a weekly basis. All right, so that's it for part two of Podcasting on the Fly with SoundCloud. I hope that answers all of your questions, and if not, you can always send me an email or a comment below.